Hi, I'm Lulu and today I'm going to show you the vintage Christmas things I found at the thrift store and on eBay over the past year. Well, I say vintage, but uh, they're not all vintage, but they all have a vintage look. The thrift store that I shop at is the Value Village at Lansdowne and Bloor and there are also a few things that I found at the um, Salvation Army Thrift in Parkdale. So we'll begin with the things from the Value Village. These two items were inside one of those grab bags that they put random items together and um, I was so surprised that this snowman which is made out of glass, very thin, hollow. Um, it survived without any chips or any breaks. As a matter of fact, its fingers were poking, poking right through the, the bag. So it's quite remarkable that he's with us. There's no markings, so I don't know when he was made or by whom, but he's a nice piece of art glass. I'm more familiar with when this one was made, this is from the 80s and it's by a company called JSNY, which stood for uh, Jeffrey Snyder New York, and uh, it was made in Taiwan. They had a, a bunch of different motifs that they made. It's a candle holder, and so obviously this one's the cat, which I was very pleased to find, uh, but they also made it in a dog and a bear, and I think a Christmas tree, a Santa Claus, but a whole bunch of different little Christmas related things. Um, and uh, they made ornaments and other things as well. Anyway, and uh, these, uh, this bag with one other item was $3.99. And um, I should point out because people are more familiar with American dollars, the Canadian dollar is the equivalent of um, three quarters of an American dollar. So if something costs four dollars Canadian it's three dollars American and the ne next item is this little vase by Blue Mountain Pottery it's not specifically Christmas but it will work nicely to decorate for Christmas and Blue Mountain Pottery was made in Collingwood which is north of Toronto um, and in a factory that began in the um, early to mid 50s and they made it and I think they made it right until um, the 2000s. If I'm wrong, I'll put the dates of uh, correction. But uh, um, when I was a kid, we went for a tour. My, we were having, my family was having a vacation up there and we went for a tour of the Blue Mountain factory and it was so fascinating with all these Blue Mountain pieces all like I just remember so many pieces. They make them in all different things like little figures, ducks and cats and things like that and also vases um, and it was made with uh, two different kinds of glaze that just melted together when they fired it and that was $1.99 next I have this sort of kitschy Christmas stocking I think this looks like it came from the 80s to me pom pom and that was a dollar ninety nine. And here's a funny little item that I don't know anything about. It's got no markings on it, all, so I don't know if it was handmade or what. But it, the, the limbs are loose, and they're tied on with twine, and uh, no markings. I'll have to put a little eye hook on in so that I can hang him. Um, and I'll probably change out the twine for some red yarn that I have, just freshen it up a little bit. And this was $1.99. Now here's something else that's not specifically Christmas, but is nice uh, to decorate, will be useful to decorate for Christmas. And it's um, restaurant wear, Syracuse, China. Uh, these are bread and butter plates. And Syracuse, China began in the States, but these ones were actually made in Quebec. They had a, they opened a, a firm in Quebec um, in, what did I read, like the 50s. So I, I could not find at all online when this pattern was discontinued. It was definitely discontinued um, and it's called wintergreen, but I think they're probably from the 60s. 
and there are four of those in perfect shape and restaurant wear was made like for restaurants so it was made very heavy so it survived without any chips and these four together were $2.99 now here's an item that is not specifically vintage but looks vintage and is actually not even specifically Christmas but they had it in the Christmas area and it can be used to decorate for Christmas but also for like a woodland theme or something it's this little gnome coffee cup with a lid and that was made by a company called Streamline they're still in business streamlinenyc.com I found them online and they make a bunch of different little cute ceramic pieces and gift items but the gnome is discontinued so I don't know when he was made but you can't find him anymore and this was $2.99 and then um, oh yes this is uh, so sort of one of those pieces that you know where you go and you um, glaze you, you paint your own ceramics but the person who made this I think did a really nice job it's painted perfectly interesting color choices and there's nice glitter on it so it really sparkles quite a bit I'm not sure if you can see that um, and it just hangs on the wall made out of plaster and then the final thing that I got at Value Village is this trivet quite heavy so it's like a tile and uh, there's that scene skater scene on it and it's just a got some rubber feet on the bottom and um, that will lead us into the stuff that I got at Salvation Army because this is not specifically Christmas but it's a display easel and I'm going to display this platter on I mean this trivet on it but it's just a fairly sturdy uh, display easel that to me looks like it came from the 80s with all these curly cues, maybe 90s, but uh, that'll be good for displaying things. And that was $1.20. Then also at the Salvation Army, I found this vase. This is called Ruby, Ruby Glass by Anchorware. Anchor Hawking, I guess the predecessor to Anchor Hawking, but they were called Anchor Glass. And that's an, Amer an American company. And they um, made this beginning in the mid 30s, 1936, I believe. And they made it right through until the 60s. And then they discontinued it. But a few years later, they started making it again for another four years until the early 70s so I guess they just continued it and people still wanted it so they made some more uh, but you can see it's got this etched flower on it and that was $2.99 and then uh, the last thrifted item I have is this plate this is not vintage but it does have a vintage look am I holding it right and it's called something like Winter Chickadee. I'll put the name up if I'm wrong. Uh, but it's by a company called um, Kate William Design. And uh, I guess uh, they made these until, like, I think it's 2014. And either people are still using them or, well, whatever. It did, they, did, they haven't ended up in the thrift store yet or... Um, on eBay or Etsy because I looked them up and I couldn't find a single one of these plates. I found some of the other serving pieces and um, I did find that they were listed on that website replacements.com but they um, didn't have any of this size plate at all. So I guess it's rare and I saw when I looked it up that uh, they made it with um, there was also another version with Cardinal a cardinal bird and it's actually textured around the edge and that was $2.99 so that's it for the thrifted things and now I'm going to clear this away and bring out the few items that I found on eBay be right back now I have the eBay things 
And of course, since eBay comes with the delivery charge, the usually things you buy there are things you really want. And I really wanted this dinnerware, dishware. I've had my eye on it for quite some time and then I got uh, Christmas money from my parents this year and I decided to buy them. I bought them during the summer when the prices were better. But it's this Corelware, Corel dishes and the pattern is called Holly Days. So I got four place settings for four. And that's the dinner plates, um, these bowls with a red and green line, and then the bread plate, which is small, and then four of the mugs. And they came in the original box. So the box does have a barcode on it, so I'm thinking these probably came from the mid 80s. Definitely came after the microwave oven was invented because it says that they can be used in the microwave oven. Now, I got that, that uh, place setting for four, uh, but really, as I was looking, what I was really after was this size of plate, which is much more rare because it didn't come in the box of, I don't know, when they made these ones. So it's, I think, eight and a half inches and perfect for serving desserts. And I would have been happy just finding eight of these. I did get five of them. Um, and then I could have layered them with my plain white Corel. But uh, since I found the rest, I, why not? Um, yeah, so I got these. And then this second lot came with a few more dinner plates and some more bowls. So that's my... Christmas dishware, I'm set. Um, the next item is my favorite thing from this entire haul. And when I saw it, I just couldn't believe it even existed. I'd never, I've never noticed it before. Um, and it's, uh, the company that made them is HomeCo, and it's the set of Christmas kittens. So there's mom with her cake, dad, reading a book and I love that he's got his he's got a green tie on while you know wearing his dressing gown and a fireplace with some stockings a Christmas tree with some gifts and finally the two little children the little girl with a wreath and the little boy with a train. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set these up and I'll put some footage at the end of them so that you get a better look at how they can be displayed. Um, and then the last two items, oh yeah, about those is they're in perfect shape. So they're not even dusty like somebody used them. I guess that they've never been used. Um, they were made in the 80s. So that was a long time to be sitting unused, unloved for 40 years. Well, they're going to be loved now. That's for sure. And then the final item is uh, a couple of paper things. This vintage postcard it's post dated 1936 with a one cent stamp on it and as you see it's a new year's eve card and then finally my love of kitten sh cats shines through again this kitten card and it's signed love herbert and helen and it says Someone who is very nice, and that of course is you, is wished a Merry Christmas Day with fun in all you do. So that wraps up my vintage Christmas for this year. Thank you very much for watching.